Effective Evaluations Evaluations are the heart of Toastmasters. They're core to the educational program, and they show how much we care for the success of our fellow members. One of my favorite Toastmasters is a DTM whose native language is Chinese. She was preparing for a humorous contest, and everyone in her clubs was very encouraging, telling her how wonderful it was that she would compete. There was only one problem. No one told her that her speech wasn't funny. It wasn't until she found a mentor who was willing to be frank about the problems and give concrete suggestions that she started to win her contests. We want to be encouraging, but for members to improve, we also have to give honest appraisal and concrete advice based on the criteria in our Pathways lessons. We need to provide what Kim Scott defines as radical candor, or better, compassionate candor. Imagine intersecting continua of caring for someone and giving them honest feedback. If you don't care at all and don't give concrete feedback, you might say pleasant nothings or nothing at all. That's insincere manipulation. You might say one thing in your evaluations, but secretly talk smack behind the person's back. That's no way to build trust with the speaker nor with the people that you talk smack to. Caring is important, but we also must challenge the speaker. Otherwise, we'll indulge in the most insidious of the misguided feedback, perhaps the most harmful of all, ruinous empathy. That's sparing feelings at the expense of growth. Another symptom is superlatives without examples, like, oh, your vocal variety was amazing, your gestures were fantastic. Big statements that don't provide any helpful information. Now, if you don't care about a speaker, but you do challenge her directly, that's not radical candor, that's obnoxious aggression. Don't confuse the two. Essentially, if you're brutally honest without having developed a caring relationship with the recipient, you're being a jerk. Don't use radical candor as an excuse to be a jerk to people. However, if you're not practicing radical candor, this is actually the second best choice because at least you're giving useful feedback. Compassionate candor is caring personally while challenging directly. At its core, radical candor is guidance and feedback that's both kind and clear, specific and sincere. If you appreciate something the speaker did, talk about it specifically and why you found it effective. A good evaluation doesn't have to be critical. It can be positive if you take the time to give examples, rather than just use superlatives. Show that you care by giving honest, constructive, and specific feedback that helps the speaker grow, rather than vague, specious, and hyperbolic feedback meant to stroke the ego without providing real food for the soul. <laughs>